Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on homogeneous differential equation. Here we will see a solution for the given problem is solve d cube minus 3d plus 2 of y equal to 0. Solution. The given question we have to take it as d cube minus 3d plus 2 of y equal to 0. So it is in a ready made form. So directly auxiliary equation is. So we will convert this one as. So m cube minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. Means highest power of m is 3. So we can expect here 3 roots. So, to apply in the calculator, I will rearrange this equation as m cube plus or minus any sign. So, here m square is missing 0 into m square minus this 3m plus 2 equal to 0. Because to type in the calculator, you have to uh, type in a proper order. This is m cube. So, once we rearrange this, so we will go for the roots by using the calculator now. Now go for mode option then option 5 then this is cubic equation option 4 then coefficient of m cube is 1 coefficient of m square is 0 coefficient of m is minus 3 constant is 2. So you can see the first root as minus 2 therefore the roots of auxiliary equation are m is equal to first root is minus 2 equal to sign second root is 1 next it is not showing it means that so first root is again repeating so you can see once again in the calculator so, first root is showing minus 2, second root it is showing out here 1, after that it is going back to the equation. It means that this minus 2 is coming one more time and this 1 is also coming. Uh, once again, I will repeat this. So, here minus 2 is not repeating. Here once again, uh, after once we enter the values, uh, you can see that. So, first root we got minus 2, I have taken. Next root is 1. So, if I press one more time equal to sign. So, it is not showing it is going to the equation. It means the second root is repeated one more time. So, the repeated one it will not show. It means which one is the previous one. So, previous one is 1 here. So, that root we have to repeat. So therefore, the roots are 1, 1 and minus 2. So, based on this we have to write a complementary function and the general solution. So, we will see the detail now. So, these are the roots. Or, so this uh, again, instead of getting a cal using calculator, I will show one more uh, by synthetic uh, method of getting the root that is synthetic method we call so synthetic method of getting root so given root what we have so we have to take this equation we have to rearrange for that so that method is you just observe here so coefficient of m cube is 1 coefficient of m square is 0, coefficient of m is minus 3 and constant 2. Fine. So now see that which uh, means you have to decide that. So you just uh, observe this. You don't concentrate for this. So you just uh, so take a number uh, so that that number should uh, uh, satisfy this equation means anyone you start with plus then minus uh, plus 1 then minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 so on. So, if you pl put plus 1 in this above equation, that is if you put 1 cube is 1 plus here 0, leave it. So, minus 3 into m is minus 3 plus 2. So, plus 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So, 0 equal to 0 means 1 satisfies this equation. So, that 1, which number is going to satisfy that number you have to take here. So, once we get that, so therefore what we have to do here, we will see. So next what we have to do here, so put a line 
then you have to write blindly 0. So 1 plus 0 or minus 0 is 1 itself. So 1 into 1 is 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So 1 into this 1 is 1. So minus 3 plus 1 will be minus 2. This minus 2 into 1 will be what here? Minus 2. So minus 2 minus 2 is uh, plus 2 and minus 2 is 0. So always this will become what here? 0 resultant uh, to be multiplied with minus 1. So that at, at that time it will become what here? 0. So this cubic equation. So m cube plus 0 into m square minus 3m plus 2 is converted to what here? m square plus m minus 2. Okay. So this converted to what here? So therefore, so this is the first root here. So m is equal to we got first root and this is nothing but you have to write this one as m square because m cube is converted to m square plus this m square is converted to m that is 1 into m is m minus 2 equal to 0. So this is again easy to simplify you have to go for the normal method. So that is nothing but uh, if you uh, add uh, if you multiply you supposed to get uh, minus 2 and uh, if you add those numbers or multiply those numbers we should get a uh, uh, what here uh, plus m so this i will uh, write it as so m square plus 2m minus m this minus 2 equal to 0 i have this uh, m i have taken what here plus 2m minus m so plus 2m minus m is nothing but plus m so 2 into minus uh, 1 is nothing but what here minus 2. So make a pairs. So among these you take m common. So it will be m plus 2. Among these you take minus sign common. You will get m plus 2 which is equal to 0. So two brackets are common. So take that outside. That is m plus 2 one bracket and another bracket is m minus 1 equal to 0 on equating. So m plus 2 equal to 0 or m minus 1 equal to 0 or on simplification so m is equal to minus 2 is one more root and m is equal to minus uh, plus 1 another root so therefore plus 1 and this plus 1 and minus 2 these are the roots so same roots already we got it check here 1 1 and minus 2 so 1 1 and minus 2 so this is a method of what here synthetic method you can use uh, for manually so you use this method when it is m raised to 4 comes better so or else you can use a better calculator for the simplification so with the help of these roots so once again i will rewrite the roots so therefore the roots the roots are that is m equal to i'll write in order 1 1 and minus 2 so therefore the complementary function is that is yc is equal to roots are repeated here so two roots are repeated means c1 plus c2x raised into e raised to 1 into x is 1 plus this root is separate that is c3 e raised to minus 2x so this is a complex uh, complementary root so with the help of this complementary uh, function so we will go for the general solution the general solution is The general solution is y is equal to yc which implies y is equal to yc is nothing but c1 plus c2x into e raised to x plus c3 e raised to minus 2x. So this is a required general solution of the given homogeneous differential equation.